All right, uh, 21st video, last of this series right now. We're almost at $2,000 in profit here. So let's take a look at the 30 year bond auction. And we need to get fast, uh, we need to fast forward, excuse me, to 1250 mark here again. Remember that our Forex factory showed that there's nothing in the way. Now, one thing to keep in mind here, or if you remember, uh, on this particular day, on Wednesday, November 10th, we have uh, the ECB president talking. So this could affect the market a little bit. So you could, uh, you know, bypass this trade if you wanted to. I say take it on. Um, you're going to have, he's going to come out and then he's either going to move the market. Hopefully he'll, he'll move the market the way you're, of your trade. Uh, it's not an FOMC situation to worry with. It's, um, they, obviously it's important and uh, what they, he does talk about. But who knows what he was talking about that day. I guess we could actually go look and see what he ended up talking about, right? You can actually press this and then it'll kind of tell you what he's talking about. Do deliver a speech titled, How to Overcome the Crisis. So not as important as maybe a policy meeting if he was actually talking about the rates and so forth. Um, all right, so we're at the 105 mark. We need to go and see how the market looks at 105. And here's our lower average daily range kicking in there so let me um, pull that in a little bit see that a little bit better ah easy enough alright so we're measuring this down to here we have already run the LADR here's a a case here of do can we run it so the 28 down we've already run the LADR We already run the target before we even entered the trade. Two schools of thought here. You could, you can put your entry in there, but uh, if you look back here at this particular how this was moving there, look how this was moving. Uh, well, our entry point would be ah, if you want to see it, it would be one tick lower than this right here. So it'd come in at 28. So you sell on a stop. Uh, what is the be one twenty seven and twenty eight. So I guess you could say you do have enough room if you wanted to take this on. Now I would advise it's already run the uh, lower average daily range on that on that bar itself. So this. So I wanted to make that at 28. So 28 here. It's already run the LADR. This is pretty much for me a no trade decision. It's it's a pretty easy decision to make. We've already run the LADR on this bar here, and most likely this is a reversal bar going the other direction. Not that I, I, I think that's what happened in this particular day. I'm not real sure. Uh, but we've already run the target here. Usually we want to get it in front of it and then run to the target as opposed to it's already run the target and then move back up. So this can be um, a, a bad trade for us to get into here. A better trade here when you see that kind of movement and it moves violently back up, well maybe you want it to have a reversal. But obviously it's not the way the trading signal is coming in for this particular strategy. You're just taking what it, the SSM tells you to be short You've already run the target on this particular bar. It's run it. And this is a nerf trade. This is not enough room for profit trade. It's already run its target. You really don't want to take this on. And uh, well, anyway, let's, let's just see what happens here. And uh, let's go ahead and exit that position out. Let's record a loss for a change. Just uh, throw off some of that those numbers here that we've been getting in. And uh, anyway, so that had been 187 and a half dollar loss, and uh, that kind of makes up for some slippage that I was getting anyway. So uh, kind of a kind of a neat way of ending here, and uh, I think a very um, 
I think I'm glad that we've actually had this trade decision out here so you can see this. This is one of the inside our trading room. When we run those targets here, or, or one of our targets that were our uh, ultimate target, then we're pretty much looking at a pullback. And right now, that pullback was going straight the other direction. And this is maybe easier to see if we would actually look at it out. Well, can't look at a 15 minute. If we take this 15 minute, if you go back here onto the 10th and you replay this day and you look here at the five minute chart, you're going to see that it goes down here and then it's very violently coming up. This is a great trade to reverse, but not a great trade to try to. So basically, make a long story short, you ran your, your uh, loss level here. Uh, excuse me, the LADR, not loss level. You r ran the lower average daily range before you were able to get into the trade. Now, if it would have finished here and the rest of this red bar wasn't in here, you know, so you had enough room to run down this way, then yeah, you would have taken this trade on and hopefully you'd have made it. Now, obviously, um, the ECB president is talking at this point, and, and let's see what happens, how, how this all finishes up. So this is a no trade already, right? You can't take this on because we already made the decision that this is a no trade. So as you can see, it just kind of fumbles around here. This was your no trade decision. So in actuality, this particular trade on this day falls into because it has already run already run the LADR before you had the opportunity to get in so if you can keep that in mind it'll save you some money uh, and obviously stay in a trading room so as long as you can afford twenty dollars I mean twenty dollars is not much to be able to I mean heck you know pulling out some nice profits per per day per contract per week per month you keep growing this account up uh, if you can't trade the crude oil market this is a great way to be able to just take a high percentage win here uh, if you don't like the crude oil market, this is uh, what we do in uh, our day trading room. This is just an excellent strategy. It's kind of just a no-brainer. You either trade it or you don't. You, it's either a, if it if it runs into the not enough room for profit, then then you've got to respect that. You got to say, okay, fine. It's already run its range. I'm done. I'm done. I can't take it on and just pass it into the next trading session. So, as far as November goes and the rest of November here, we have. Um, that we have the days before Thanksgiving here trade wise and that would come into the two five and the seven year note auction on Monday Tuesday and Wednesday of uh, while well, I'm recording this is November 17th uh, 2010 and that's about a couple days away to be able to see what the two the five and the seven note auction will come out to be all right well this is Dave Knight this is the end of right now this video series and if we look at our report once again I kind of wanted to see what it would look like with putting a loss in here see we have a 90 percent winning rate this is pretty cool you know this is averaging 70 percent so we're actually above the rate that it was now we had a loss this would have been 187 and a half loss but that's okay just wanted to see how this all worked out here so I can kind of take a look at um, uh, we had a current streak before this right of eight wins right so um, our total gross profit, our gross loss. Um, we don't have any peaks and drawdowns yet because we really haven't run into that yet. Uh, that's about the way it works, you know. It's kind of cool. And looking at the charts, kind of come down a little bit in our profit here. And so we, you know, made a little bit. Of, uh, it's kind of neat. It's a, a good little, good little strategy here. Um, uh, it's just a really good strategy. I, I believe in it and. Uh, Look forward to seeing you in our room here. And uh, thank you. Thank you for uh, watching all these videos. I got kind of tired doing 21 videos in one day. But 
I appreciate y'all watching it and taking a look at it. Well, I'm obviously looking forward to having you in the room. We'll see you. We'll see you on that next video. We'll see you in the room. Thanks for uh, taking a, uh, thanks for purchasing the SSM. Thanks for being a part of the, the room, and uh, we'll see you. And if I can do anything to help you, you know where I am. Give me a call. Send me an email, and uh, let's talk. We'll talk to you a little bit later. I'll see you on the next video. Bye now.